All right, so I'm here with Tristan Voce. He's going to explain to us the steering wheel of the new Dallara IL15. Tristan, yeah. go. Bit of a step up from the old car, as you can see. Uh, that's the steering wheel here. Radio is the button I press when I want to talk with the crew. So just press and hold it, and when you're done, you release it. This black button here with no sticker actually gave me a bit of a hard time because at first I did not know what it was. It's actually a button you use to engage neutral when you are in the pits. So you press the clutch, press this button and, and use the paddle to go down to neutral. Page is to change the display on the steering wheel to different information. I have various information available put into a different order. So it's, it's just the button I use to change that. Uh, P2P is the push to pass. I don't have it yet. They don't want me to go too fast, but during the race, that's where the drivers will press when they want to use a push to pass to try and pass the car in front of them or when they want to defend as well. Uh, the pit button is the pit speed limit button that you press when you enter pit lane. Keeps the car at 50 miles per hour. The ACK is actually acknowledge. It's when you get an alarm on the screen like oil pressure or oil temp. Uh, you can press this button and it, it will make the alarm go. So if once you press the alarm goes and doesn't come back, you know that it was not a bad alarm. If it comes back straight away, you know you have a problem and you have to stop. So it's basically what the race driver does, regardless of what the alarm is, you just pr press acknowledge. Yes, as soon as the alarm comes on, we press acknowledge and try to look at the road. Uh, calibration of the engine here, you have different maps, so it can be throttle map or all this kind of stuff. And here the gear calibration is basically... Um, you know, the timing on the paddle shift to try and get um, faster shifts. You can adjust a little bit the way the engine will, uh, will cut um, to, to shift up. So uh, the paddle shift behind on the right to shift up, you just pull it towards you to shift down. Same thing on the left, pull it towards you. You don't have to use the clutch. We only use the clutch to start the car. So it's a bit of a step up for Indy Lights. Huge technology boost here. This is great.